And hello fellow Battlefield players, and welcome again to some Battlefield Hardline in gameplay here from the beta version from the PlayStation 4. Um, and if you're wondering about my voice, I'm kind of sick again, I have a nasty cold again, which really, really sucks. But uh, anyways, uh, back to the gameplay here. I have recorded in the beta in the limited time, um, also some snapping clips. They are not too amazing and stuff like that, but I uh, really tend to get uh, play all the class a bit more in the full game, of course. Because then I have more time to unlock and buy all the stuff. And I also, as I said in my other videos, I'm studying, so I don't have time really to play and stuff all day. <laughs> and when I play, I also like <laughs> I play some different games, different consoles, and stuff like that. So, and anyways, uh, the Scout Elite is the only uh, snapping uh, rifle I have uh, really played in the beta or tested out. And I think it's pretty awesome with the fire rate and stuff. And also the sidearm, which you will also see in this video, I think, um, where I get, I think, four or, or three kills at least in a row with it. Can really pack a punch uh, in close quarter combats and even, like, with the red dot on it. Uh, not the red dot, the uh, laser sight on it. Uh, it's really deadly, but you will see that in a clip in this video. So again, if you like uh, Battlefield, in general, also Battlefield Hotline and gameplay in the future, here's some nice two kills. Let's get a lead, of course, they were not really moving the enemy so it was easy to get the kill here and another one here just lying around trying to snipe me um so if you like battlefield hardline gameplay then please subscribe my channel subscribe to my channel check out the other videos i have on there like from some older battlefield if you're into it and leave a thumbs up for the video if you like it i hope you do and and yeah i mean and i try to shoot at the man but i think it has uh like panzer clash or something on it like you can't really shoot through it unless you're losing using like grenades you can damage it or a grenade launcher i think so <laughs> but uh i haven't really played it that much and i haven't really come up against his vehicles that much so i really tried again to shoot at him i think but maybe you can like damage the car a bit if you shoot it at the right places but i'm not sure but yeah i mean the, the, I haven't really figured out how good the camera attachments is the only thing I think about like for the second kit slot and um, because in the third one there are these laser trap mines which are really amazing and I also like bought uh, like blue camo for the scout elite uh, I think uh, just like for trying it out how the colors look on the weapons that looks pretty neat I think but like as I said the second gadget I've unlocked or bought in the game is like the camera surveillance cameras these little things where you also get like two pieces of them but i haven't really figured out what they do or i mean i think if you're positioning it right they have like an area where they like show maybe the enemies on the minimap when there is someone there but i haven't really uh, played with them enough if to say if they're good or not but i mean if they're really um like probably in the full game uh, when you position them right or know where to position them, then they can be, I think, pretty helpful again for this class and make this class even better. I mean, slapping, <laughs> yeah, I really, uh, oh my god, I don't know why I've missed that guy again here with the second shot. But I also, like, forgot here, I think, to hold my breath to make it uh, a bit more uh, stable the shooting in this way. But I think here's the yeah, scene where I see all the enemies closing in on my position. Try to frag him with the grenade, um, and then you think you we get the, like the multi kill or two kills in a row with the weapon with the pistol. And the reloader, of course, is also pretty awesome. Killed him with the police bat here actually, which the animation didn't show because it was like too close or something like that. Then we get two kills here with the G18 and another one. <laughs> like a little victory dance stuff. So you see, it's a pretty powerful pistol, of course. Um, but at long range or mid range, it can get a little bit tricky to like finish someone off. But it, I have also done it in the beta, so maybe there will be some better pistols to use. But if you really like going for the captures and and in inside buildings and really want to go in there and capture a point or whatever or defend something, then maybe the G18 is also like a nice option for that. You see me like sniping again and missing like one or two shots, but. And again, finish him off the guy, the second one uh, ran away. But later, this video is also like one of the last clips here. I'm gonna end again. I'm sorry for the voice, for the sick voice again here. Um, 
I actually I've really done a lot of videos with, with a sick voice. I uh, I remember. You sneak up on this guy, get like the kill and kill saw him on the minimap. I think when you like interrogate one or get him from behind or handcuff it, the enemy you uh, get to show or it shows like some uh, enemies on the minimap for a short amount of time but I think in the alpha it worked a little bit better I don't know if it's like a bug here in the second beta or in the beta actually or not but uh, yeah again thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that video finish him off with the last snipe here again missing a bit but in this kill you can see like how fast you can shoot through bullets with the sniper Thanks for watching guys, hope you like it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, thanks for watching and take care.